I've been performing magic for over 20 years so far, and that's a lot of card tricks. Um, some good, some bad, um, but nevertheless, I've come up with something that I've shared with Roger Curzon. I've never had a reaction from performing card magic as I have had with a, a do as I do routine or a card at any number. When Roger first showed me this routine, I was literally, for a use of an overused phrase, blown away. The reactions were incredible. I wanted to adapt it um, quite a bit, I think, now, really, because I wanted to use it as a workable piece of material. So imagine you've got a red deck of cards that your spectator takes from the box and place them on the table. They can look through them as well to make sure that they're not in any particular order. They can place them face down on the table. You can give them the blue deck of cards. They take those out, they fan through them, make sure they're all okay, as good as a layperson can fan. <laughs> uh, they shuffle the cards, they place them on the table, and they make a single cut. They don't lift any cards yet, they just lift up a, a stock of cards from the cut. I then lift, without looking at their deck, a cut into my red deck. I can show them where I've cut, then they can show me where they cut to and the cards will match. It is literally mind-blowing for not just uh, the lay person, but for magicians as well, because we try to reverse engineer that kind of thing. But it doesn't stop there. You can repeat it with a different card over and over and over again. And it's a real pleasure to keep doing. You can't even stop yourself when you do it. Um, you can count down cards. You can spell to cards. It doesn't matter. There's a revelation for everyone. And I think, I think you're going to like this one. This is my knockout prediction out done. It's a pleasure. Somewhere in the world, a shuffled deck of cards could be in the same order as another deck of cards. Yes, it could. Pick them up. Take a look. Ooh, close. Nowhere near. No, it's nowhere near. I just, uh, never mind. You would have won a prize. Ah. Uh, do you want to give them a little bit of a shuffle for me? Love to. Um, yeah. Is, are you happy with that? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay, put them face down on the table. I'll show you uh, my top card is the four of clubs. Uh, what have you shuffled to? Top card, take a look. Knockout. It's the four of clubs. Mm. Oh, you had to check, didn't I you? I did. You had to check. Um, did you want to um, make a little cut somewhere? Up to you, are you happy with your... Yeah. Uh, your shuffling was brilliant, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to do a simple cut. I'll show you what I've cut to. It's the uh, eight of um, hearts. I I'm not kidding. Oh, eight of hearts. <laughs> I love the way you double check everything. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, right. do you want to do it again? Would you like to shuffle them? Yeah, I would. I don't trust you. No one does. No. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then, um, put them there. And then go for it, give them a little cut somewhere. Okay? Happy? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing. Right. Turn it over. <laughs> no. Jack of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Double check them. It's a knockout. There it is. My knockout prediction outdone. And can you believe that there's no memory work? You don't have to remember where everything is, you don't have to remember which cards where. You merely take out two decks of cards, seated, standing, reception drinks, close up, table work, and perform a literally mind blowing piece of magic over and over again with a different outcome. Easy to do hard-hitting magic.